If you're struggling with mild to moderate hearing loss, this is for you, because I'm reviewing the Audion Eon OTC hearing aids. These are audience behind the ear hearing aids, and I'll show the pros and cons and how to look in a minute coming up. Hey what's up, my name is Dave and I'm a hearing professional with 25 years of experience in fitting hearing aids and today I'm reviewing the Audion Eon. These are Audions behind the ear hearing aids. So if you're into hearing aids, you probably know that Audion is well known for the very affordable in the ear hearing aids, the Atom, the Atom 2, Atom Pro, Atom Pro 2. So what's different here from the technical side in this hearing aids is the new A2 Max chip while in the Atom 2 and Atom 2 Pro is the A2 chip. So it's a little different from the technology side, but let's have a look at the device. As you see, it's a behind the ear rig device, which means it has the receiver in the ear and all the technology behind the ear. And I'll show you how these devices look. So usually rig hearing aids have a pretty discreet design and keep the ear canal pretty open, which leads to um, nice comfortable fit while wearing. So that's how these devices look like. You only have a size two standard size receiver lengths. So I'm lucky that it fits for my ear and I use a smaller ear dome than it came in the with the original packaging because that's how it arrived. It arrived with this big ear dome and you see it sits very differently here because you can definitely see the cable here and here it's much more discreet. So basically what do these hearing aids have? They come with four hearing programs which you can switch directly on the hearing aid. You can see it here we have this rocker switch here and you can switch through the hearing programs with this rocker switch you can also adjust the volume of the hearing aids with this switch and it also has an on off button on the hearing aid. Now that being said these hearing aids don't feature Bluetooth connectivity so there's no way to adjust these hearing aids to your individual hearing loss. It has four hearing modes and you can try which one suits the best but there's no way to adjust these hearing aids to your individual hearing loss. So, yeah. So the Audion Eon come in this pack and basically it says what's inside, what is included and yeah, FDA warnings of course, self-appreciation, FDA warnings, yeah. So let's look inside. Hearing for everyone. Sounds good. Okay. What do we have here? Instruction manuals. Quick start guide. Three weeks to better hearing. And yeah, I really like this. I can't stress it enough. Um, you can't try hearing aid for one or two days and then decide if it's good for you or not. It takes longer for the brain to adjust to hearing aids. So three days, definitely give it four or five weeks. So this might tell you if hearing aids are good for you or not. So here are the hearing aids, fully assembled, accessories, the charger, charging cable, Plenty of ear domes, earwax filters, and a multi tool with this metal loop here, brush, and this magnetic part. Okay, so let's see what these hearing aids look like. Here they come. And this is the device. We have the 
rocker switch here, up and down. Uh, short press up gets louder, short press down gets less loud. Long push up for about three seconds. It switches to the next steering program from one to two, from two to three, from three to four. Long push down, it switches back three to two, two to one, one to four. So that's how it goes. This is the on off button, which is quite interesting. Now it's on, the green button is visible, now it's off. So these hearing aids don't turn on and off automatically if you take them out of the charger. You have to turn them on and off with this button here. But it's, yeah, that's okay. If you know it, you can do it. Receiver cable, receiver here with the red marking for the right ear. The other side has a blue marking for the blue ear. This is the ear dome and this is the earwax filter. And I'll just show you how to replace these filters because this is something you need to do pretty frequently. Every two to four weeks depending on how much earwax builds up in your ear. So you take this new filter here, you push it in, take it out, turn it around, push in the new filter and that's it. You're done. Pull on the, uh, the ear dome and that's it. So what we have here is this charger and it's magnetic. So it pulls in the hearing aid automatically, which is good. It also looks that it doesn't fall out. By the way, just forgot to mention, we got these two microphone inlets here for the directional microphone and this splint holds everything together. So coming back to the charger, it has these three LED lights here and it basically says if those are blinking, uh, if they're solid green, like now the left and the right one, then the hearing aids are fully charged. Can you see it here on the right side too? Yeah, now they are fully charged hearing aids. The light in the middle is the status of the power bank in the charger so you can charge the charger here and it's also solid green if it is fully charged so we have these three green lights if they're green blinking means the devices are charging if they're solid green for some seconds it shows us that the devices are fully charged so this is it it's pretty nice and small charger case and there's nothing special or fancy with it no uv light disinfection no cleaning function just a charger with a power bank, which is more than enough for these hearing aids. Now, what are these hearing aids made for? Of course, for mild to moderate hearing loss as an OTC hearing aids, that's one thing. But, you know, Audion has two in-ear devices and if you have smaller ears, you might have issues with them sticking out way too much of your ear. Uh, that's different with these hearing aids because a rig device is always good if you have smaller ears because you can get very small ear dome on it so it fits into smaller ears. Also these devices come with directional microphones which focus on speech from the front while lowering the background noise and that works pretty well. So also the noise reduction in these hearing aids works pretty well. I tried them and they sound pretty natural and really good. Honestly speaking, these are uh, they have a great sound for an OTC hearing aid which is not adjustable to your hearing loss. So if you're fine with one of the four hearing programs, these devices are pretty, pretty good hearing aids for you. However, what you can't adjust is a feedback control in these hearing aids. The only way you can adjust feedback is by using a bigger ear dome, so you, you're closing the receiver a little bit more, or you're lowering the volume of the hearing aids. You have these two options, otherwise if you still have feedback, they are probably not for you. What else do we have? These devices bring up to 35 decibel of amplification, which is not bad for a small device like this. And the frequency range is between 200 and 5000 Hertz, which is not very high, especially if you're suffering from a high frequency hearing loss, which is quite a common kind of hearing loss. These might not have enough power to bring you the extra crisp sound you're looking for, but it's still worth a try, definitely. Now also a good thing, these devices are rechargeable and they bring up to 20 hours of amplification 
with one charge and the charging takes around two to three hours for one full charge. So these devices will definitely bring you through the day with one charge. Why? Because they don't have Bluetooth in it. If you have a Bluetooth connection, it takes a lot of energy from these hearing aids, but these don't have one. So yeah, 20 hours with one charge. Not bad. The Audion Eon come with this portable charger, which is first of all nice and small and it is magnetic. So it pulls the hearing aids in and it also keeps it in. It also has three LED lights to show you the status of the charging of your hearing aids. So what else do we have with this charger? It comes with up to three extra charges and if you want to charge it, it takes around two to three hours for fully charged. So all in all, what do we have? These hearing aids are rig hearing aids, which are pretty easy to get into your ear and get out of your ear. It takes a little practice, but it's pretty easy still. So they're also pretty discreet if you manage to find the right ear dome for your ears. They're rechargeable. They bring you through the day with one charge. They come with a charger with three extra charges and they sell for $389 per pair, which is a little bit high for audio but still pretty affordable for uh, the value you get because the sound quality of these hearing aids is pretty good. And if one of the four hearing programs fit your hearing loss, you're pretty fine then. So what else do we have? We also have a 45 day money back guarantee. So that's why I'm saying, even if these devices don't fit your needs, you can still try them for 30 or 40 days and then return them and get your money back. There's basically no risk involved. So I can definitely recommend these hearing aids if you would like to have Audion hearing aids, but you have issues with the fit of the Audion Atom 2 or Atom 2 Pro because they just won't fit your ears or you just prefer the rig design of these hearing aids. Whatever the reason may be, you can definitely try these devices, see how they work for you and either return them if they don't fit or live happily ever after. So this was another episode of Dave the Hearing Aid Guy. If you liked it, if it brought you some value, if it brought you some news, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and please drop your questions in the comment section below. See you next time. Bye.